Frame by frame animations in um, Flash are the simplest, although not the most effective, but they're a good way of showing you the principles. Frames across the top there in the timeline, and the frame per second FPS rate there, if you double click on it, you can alter that to a faster or a slower rate later on. We'll, we'll do that later on. Now let's just suppose that we want to get a little green ball here to bounce something down along this line or, or the canvas or the stage. What we need to do is to put some keyframes in. So we'll insert a keyframe at frame 5 and we'll move the ball to where we want it to be by the time we get to frame 5. Then we'll do the same for frame 10, insert a keyframe and move the ball to where we want it to be and then we'll do it to several other frames along the way just to get a simple bouncing ball effect across a number of frames. There we go. Each time inserting a keyframe which is where an action or a change in action will take place in this case the change in position of the ball and we'll put a, a longer one in here to show you the effect of having keyframes that are quite a distance apart obviously it makes it more of a jagged movement <coughs> right taking the playhead back shows you roughly where the ball is, is going to bounce but doing a control and test movie will show you what that looks like a very very crude animation you can see it's quite jerky because it's just moving the ball across five frames at a time now we can make it a little bit better by turning on something called onion skinning if you click on onion skin and pull out the little bracket there to make it go across the whole animation you can see all the positions of the ball in shaded outline and obviously we could make this smoother by putting some keyframes in between these sort of points that the ball jumps between so let's just put one or two in put a keyframe in there move the ball put a keyframe in there and go keyframe in that one and move the ball down a bit so hopefully there are more stages when we do this and the ball should look a little bit more smooth in its actions in all the places where we put keyframes. Now I could of course make it extremely smooth by putting in a keyframe on every single frame of the animation and moving the ball just a small bit along each time. That would make it quite a smooth movie. But it will be very tedious and take a long time. There is a technique which we'll look at in the next tutorial called tweening which does this for you. But for the moment, just to show you what happens, there we are, that is a little bit smoother at the beginning and still jagged out there towards the end. Now of course we can speed it up if we turn off onion skinning for a moment. If we double click on the frame rate, frames per second, it's set at 12 at the moment. If we make it 24 frames a second, that should make it go twice as quick. And you won't see the jaggedness quite so much when we look at that. There we go, it looks a little bit better. <coughs> now you can also change the views of the timeline itself by clicking on that little logo at the top right there and you can see the individual keyframes where the animation and where in this case the ball is in each one and there are different views of that timeline that you can have if that's the way you prefer to do it. <coughs> 